If a gambler goes into a casino and wins $1,000, are they a winning player? Is the casino then freaking out that this gambler is beating them and there's a glitch in the matrix? No, of course not. Well, how about myself? I've won $432 an hour as a professional card counter. Does that mean every hour I make $432? No, to be honest, there are times that I go into a casino and get absolutely clobbered. The dealer, the other players, the pit boss, they all think I have a gambling problem because I have losing days and winning days. I'm not worried a bit because I understand the concept of expected value or EV. And in this video, I'm gonna explain it to you. I'm Colin from Blackjack Apprenticeship, and for the past 15 years, I've been a professional card counter. I've also run blackjack teams responsible for taking $4 million from casinos. And through Blackjack Apprenticeship for the last 10 years, we've trained more successful card counters than anybody. And it all starts with understanding the concept of EV. The concept of expected value is the foundation to how card counters think, but not just card counters, how the casino thinks as well. So what is EV or expected value? It is the expected amount that you will make or lose at a casino based on how you play. So it's the mathematical expectation of the way you play over a given period of time. So let me give you a couple illustrations to help. The first is if you flip a coin. Imagine you flip a coin. What's the expectation it's gonna land on heads or tails? Well, it's 50-50, right? But if you flip a coin, it's not gonna land 50% heads, 50% tails. It's not gonna land on its side. You're either gonna get heads or tails, but the odds continue to be 50-50. So let's say you flip this coin 10 times. You get seven heads, three tails, did you miraculously pick a coin that's more likely to land on heads than tails? No, you had luck or what we would call variance. And if you flip that coin long enough, you're guaranteed over a long enough period of time to approach 50-50. So let me give you one other illustration I came up with. Imagine you're standing at a four lane highway and you're looking across and there are cars randomly whizzing by. And then a guy steps up next to you and he's like, oh, don't worry, you won't get hit, watch. He puts a blindfold on and he runs across the street and he doesn't get hit by a car. Does that mean that you're guaranteed to not get hit by a car? No, if this idiot with the blindfold runs across the road enough times, he is guaranteed eventually to get hit by a car. It's just, he needs a large enough sample size for it to work out. So when your buddy says, oh, I went to the casino the other night and I won a thousand bucks, Therefore, I'm a winning player. Casinos are banking on the fact if he keeps playing, he will lose his money. He just needs more time for it to all work out. The casinos are really smart. They've calculated the expected value of every single game in there, and they know every gambler what that gambler is worth to them in the casino in terms of expected value. That's why when a gambler is winning, the casino isn't freaking out about it. They're actually offering them a comp saying, hey, get a meal and come back to the tables because the only thing they care about is to get you to keep gambling so you can keep generating expected value for them. They're not worried about the short term. They're worried about the money they're gonna make off of you over the long haul. So we as card counters think the exact same way as the casinos, except they're not generating expected value off of us. We're generating positive expected value off the casinos. A card counter only wins about 55% of the time. That means that they lose the other 45% of the time roughly, and that's okay. Because if we keep playing and we keep generating EV, that 55% is going to work out over the long haul where we will make plenty of money as a card counter. So you remember me telling you the story about I've made $432 an hour and I've had times, long streaks where I'm getting absolutely clobbered, but I'm not worried about it because I know every hour I play at the casino, I'm generating positive EV. And over enough time, just like flipping the coin, if I keep playing, that law of large numbers will work out where I will take their money. That's how I've personally made hundreds of thousands, that's how my teams have made millions, and that's how people through Blackjack Apprenticeship have done the exact same thing, by understanding and generating positive EV. In our free card counting mini course on the website, I go a little more in depth into how a card counter or an investor thinks versus how a gambler thinks. But in short, a gambler is thinking about the short-term results. They win and they think, I'm a winning player. A card counter thinks in terms of the long haul, in terms of generating positive EV and letting the math work out. Also, we as card counters don't believe in superstitions or any sort of gambling belief systems that can't be backed up with math or logic. We're about the math of the game, just like the casinos are only worried about the math of the game. 
The beautiful thing about Card King is that the math is actually on our sides. So we don't have to worry about getting lucky against the casinos. We just have to generate EV and let that work out in our favor. So how do you know your EV? Well, if you're a gambler, it's not that difficult. You figure out the casino's house edge against you, and then you multiply that by your average bet and how many hands per hour you play. Let's take a perfect basic strategy card counter. Generally, they're playing with a 0.5% risk against them. If you're betting $10 a hand for 100 rounds per hour, you just multiply that out 0.5%, which is 0 0.005 times $10 times 100, and you know that the casino is gonna make $5 an hour off. Your EV is minus $5 per hour. Yeah, you're gonna have streaks where you're winning a couple hundred bucks, losing a couple hundred bucks, maybe even a couple thousand winning or losing, but if you play long enough, the math will work out and you will be worth to the casino $5 an hour. So what if you're a card counter? Well, we use computer software that simulates our results and tells us exactly what we're generating at the casinos. Again, we have wins and losses, but it tells you what you're generating and it will work out over a large enough time. If you're new to card counting for now, you don't need to worry about simulation software or anything like that. But what you do need to do is shift your brain from thinking like a gambler to thinking like a card counter, thinking like an investor that understands expected value. And if you want to get our weekly updates here on this YouTube channel, you can subscribe below, turn on notifications, and you can also check out our free video mini course to learn more about how to beat the game of blackjack with card counting.